I flew around the world seven times in 2009 when I was chairman of the board of YPO. Yet the number of flights, that's not interesting. What is interesting is the countless number of trusted and intimate conversations I got into with members and their families throughout the world. When I look back, this was a remarkable opportunity to look into the soul of our organisation and to see emerging a global community of CEOs. I started to look for the story or pattern that sits underneath these conversations. Because there must be a story. Because the dramas of the member and their family in Beijing, Sao Paulo, Dallas, London, they're all playing out in the interconnected web of our times. So let me share two observations. The first is, what, is one which I think we're all pretty familiar with, that we're becoming more world-centric in the way we think and behave. Now, of course, our world-centric outlook is coloured by the culture and country from which we've emerged, yet within which we're no longer submerged. And I think that's an important point. It's difficult for us to have a world-centric outlook if we remain submerged within our culture and country of origin. The second point I'd like to share is that members hold some anxiety about the likely environmental and social inheritance of their children and grandchildren. And they're a little unclear about what they can do to impact this now and in coming years. And for me, the lesson is a simple one. We must ensure that what we do feeds and nourishes who we are. And when I say who we are, I mean what do I stand for? What are my passions? What's my unique area of expertise? So if we look into that metaphorical mirror and we see a gap between who we are and what we do, we should each find the courage to go on a journey and fix it. You know, YPO has changed the way I think and act. It offers us a unique, safe place in a global community to reflect on our leadership journey. It offers us an infinite range of experiences, exposing us to new ways of thinking, new ways of doing, and even new ways of being. Now, how we each choose to make a difference is a deeply personal choice. Yet, as we become more world-centric, as we find this harmony between who we are and what we do, the energies and actions that this unlocks will be beyond our imagination. 